In this video, we discuss multiple registration methods for combining scans in Pharaoh's scene. The registration methods are Correspondence View, Target Registration, which includes spheres, checkerboards, and manual targets, Split Correspondence, Top View, Cloud to Cloud, Start Stop Scan Placement, Survey Control, and Multiple Clusters with Multiple Methods. The first method, Correspondence View, is accessed by right-clicking Scans from the Workspace, hovering over View, and clicking Corresponding View. This generates a prompt to advise the program how many scan points in the millions should be loaded. Once the decision is made, click Yes to load the points in the window. Once the images have been loaded, they can be moved by clicking and dragging the image as needed. The images can be rotated by clicking and manually turning the blue wheel surrounding the image. The camera may be raised and lowered using the tools from the toolbar as well as the plus and the minus keys on the keyboard. The next method is target registration. The first step is loading all of the scans. Right click a saved scan, hover over view and click planar view. This will load the selected scans into the project window. To register the image using the Sphere Target Registration, click the tool from the upper left side of the toolbar. Click the Sphere from the project to create a registration marker. This opens a corresponding window with the Sphere specifics listed. If the number of scan points captured is less than 20, the image will show red. If the scan points are more than 20 but less than 80, the image will be yellow and if the number of scan points is more than 80, the image will show green. A second way for marking spheres within the scan is to manually select the sphere shape from the toolbar. This adds a sphere to the end of the mouse cursor that can be increased and decreased in size by moving the mouse wheel forward or backward. This will allow the marker to be placed on the sphere towards the back of the room. This process is repeated with the checkerboard target option. The program also has the ability to find spheres within the image itself. Just right-click the Scans folder, hover over Operations, hover over Pre-Processing and select Pre-Process Scans. Select which shapes the program should locate and click OK. Review the selected spheres by right-clicking one of the scans, hovering over View and selecting Quick View. To register the scans using the collected points, right-click the Scans folder, hover over Operations, hover over Registration and click Place Scans. In this example, Target-Based Registration is selected. Click OK. The following screen will show data points along with the mean target tensions. These tensions can be edited by adding or removing tensions within the scan. To complete this, click Target Tensions, which will show all of the targets that have been used for the project. To remove a target, determine the target to be removed. Right-click the target and click Set Anti-Correspondence. Remember to click Apply before exiting the screen and the target will be removed. This can be done with multiple targets, leaving enough for the registration to be completed. If needed, the anti-correspondences can be used to remove a correspondence. Users are unable to delete one correspondence at a time, and if the anti-correspondence is used, all correspondence points will be reset. To complete this action, right-click the Scans folder, hover over Operations, click Correspondences, and click Delete Correspondences. The anti-correspondences can be deleted from this screen. In the next video in this series, we'll cover additional ways to register your scans.